What I'd like to do now is to extend our conversation on uh, the appropriate flow rates when using nasal high flow. We discussed the literature and how it discusses using six to eight liters to maximize the benefit of nasal high flow for washout, for meeting uh, inspiratory efforts to decrease work of breathing, but also it, the extra benefit of the standing pressure or dynamic CPAP is critical. And a lot of folks out there in the past have been reluctant to use higher flows because they weren't sure of what that was doing to the baby. But now you can know, and you're able to capture that distending pressure with our uh, NP catheter that is now commercially available. So basically it's backing up what the literature already says and the tests that have already been done with measuring nasal pharyngeal pressure. We're just making this commercially available there's literature out there for the past 10 years has been have been showing the benefits of the standing pressure equal to that of uh, NCPAP. So we're going to quickly show you how to do this. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, OptiFlow Junior from Fisher and Paykel. The NP catheter itself just sits just inside the nares, just far enough inside to capture the pressure created by the Oppy Flow Junior. So we're just going to insert that one centimeter into the nares. We're going to secure that to the baby's face. We're going to turn our flow rate up to around four liters to start there. We're also going to be using our Napa LP15 monitor to measure the pressure. The, the Napa LP15 monitor is connected by a sample line to the NP catheter, simple connection. We're going to turn that on. You get a baseline of zero. Now we're going to adjust the nasal prongs into the baby's nares, like so. So typically we'll get one or uh, this is the, around the one centimeter of water pressure at the lower flows. Now, if the baby was breathing in and out, that flow would even go lower and sometimes into the negative. So what we really, again, that's because we're not meeting their inspiratory demands. They're overriding it, the, the flow rate. So that's an indication that you need to turn the flow up anyway. So we're gonna turn the flow up to about six liters. And as we go up, you can see that we're at 2.6 centimeters of water pressure. So if I want four or five centimeters of uh, distending pressure or dynamic CPAP, I can just turn the flow up to around six or seven liters. And I'll say I want to hit a, a goal of four. So there we're at four centimeters of water pressure, easily measuring. It doesn't take a rocket science to set this up. It's easily done flows on around eight liters, and that's kind of a perfect setup. So you can see how that works. There's no really uh, additional work for you to keep that on the baby's face. And the big benefit is you're able to measure that distending pressure where before you weren't certain of what that eight liters was going to do. Now you know exactly what that flow is doing to that baby, which is a good thing. <laughs> 